Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the breakdown how to today We're going to be showing you guys how to add wallpapers to your system preferences panel over here Which would essentially just allow you to be able to go directly to system preferences and choose wallpapers that you have downloaded from the internet now this makes things much more simple than having to have a separate desktop images folder somewhere else on your desktop that's just taking up unnecessary storage space. This is going to allow you to add it directly to the system so that you can come into system preferences and directly select it from there. Before we jump into this video, I just want to say go ahead and subscribe to the channel for more how-to content like this. And on top of that, be sure to leave a thumbs up on the video. For now though, let's go ahead and jump into the video teaching you how to add wallpapers to system preferences. Now the first thing you're going to need to do is have a place to find high quality wallpapers. I have a 5k iMac which means I need to be able to find high quality 5k images if not higher quality. Now to do this I use a website called unsplash.com. It is really beautiful free stock photos. You can actually use these anywhere, not just wallpapers. You can use these in blog content, video content, but that's not the point. I use Unsplash, but you can also use a website called interfacelift.com, which automatically recognizes your screen's resolution and lets you download wallpapers that are specifically built for that resolution. I use Unsplash because they actually have a really cool app that changes your wallpaper based on a time interval. It sits up in your menu bar and allows you to refresh a new wallpaper. And once it refreshes, you can simply hit set as wallpaper. And it's going to go ahead and change the wallpaper to that. Now you can also have it on a time interval. It's a really great app. It's free. Link in the description below. But let's say you wanted to add this wallpaper to your system preferences. The first thing you would need to do is download the photo. I'm just going to quickly download this one, which all I have to do for that is hit the download button right here. And it's going to save it directly to my downloads folder. Now what I typically do to make it easier is just drag that to my desktop and then what you'll need to do is hit command shift and G at the same time on your keyboard. From there go ahead and type slash library. Click go and it's going to bring up the library folder on your computer. From here it's really simple. Click on desktop pictures and then take the picture and drag it into your desktop pictures folder. Something else I recommend doing is renaming the picture. That way it looks better in your system preferences pane. So I'm just gonna name this fall, hit enter, and then drag it over into my desktop pictures. You'll get this warning that asks if you want to authenticate this. All you have to do is hit authenticate, hit move if you have iCloud Drive turned on, and then it will prompt you for your password. I'll just enter mine and then we'll come back over to our system preferences and what you'll typically need to do is close out of it and then reopen it. Once it's reopened you'll be able to click on desktop and screensaver and it's going to automatically place the wallpaper in here. The only problem is now you have to find it and it's right there. You can click on it as you can see it renames it to fall and obviously the wallpaper didn't change because it was already set to that wallpaper. That's it for this video guys, teaching you how to add a wallpaper to system preferences. If you enjoyed, leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more how-to content like this. Nevertheless guys, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.